Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so we're back again. More Persona 5 Royal. Uh, we're really close to uh, meeting up with Futaba for the first time. Um, and yeah, it's been a couple days and... And it's... Futaba <laughs> bringing us on a wild goose chase. Um, I'm not sure if I can do... Oh, maybe I can do stuff. Uh, before I do that... Can I even leave this place? I can't. It's very lame. Uh... Let's see, I pretty much don't want to study anymore. Meh, won't let me do nothing. Uh... I really want to upgrade my kindness, but at the same time, it's a waste. Because it only... upgrades one note per time we clean, so I feel like we can definitely do something else that's more... I don't know what you want to call it. More beneficial to us. Uh, so we're halfway through the knowledge upgrade. Uh, the final knowledge upgrade, I might add. <laughs> we're already level 4. So I feel like we're gonna get to full knowledge uh, naturally at this point. So I'm gonna try my best not to invest any more time into knowledge. Um, especially when there are times where you sit on the train or over subway and you can read books. Um, I do have a couple knowledge books, so... Uh, Charm is about to close or upgrade. No idea. Proficiency just upgraded, so yeah. Close. Somewhat close. Somewhat close. Um, I feel like the best thing to do is to do proficiency. Because it gives us the most bang for our buck. Uh, I don't think we have any DVDs. Yeah, no DVDs. Uh, no new games. Uh, so yeah, I think the best thing to do is just make random stuff. Um, let's just keep making lockpicks. I know eventually you get the, the skeleton key. Which allows us to open any lock without, you know, the key disappearing or the lockpick being used up. But till that time, I'm gonna keep making lockpicks. Oh yeah, nice. Just trying to get three notes. Three notes of proficiency, which is always good. Um, yeah, best way to do charm is probably go to the uh, hot springs. Or if there's a book that increases how fast you can gain charm at the hot springs. Stuck in the middle of something. It's kind of interesting then. I'm assuming um, all of Medjed is, you know, just Futaba. So what if she's the one that's been like, you know, attacking companies here and there, and nobody ever knew. さなる部分はありませんか根拠は全ての事件に共通する当事者の不可解な心変わりです。それは私も睨んでる。だけど根拠じゃないでしょ。言ったじゃないですか。推理です。正義を歌った回答団で世間を騒がせる。テロセクション
I definitely couldn't see that Akechi was a bad guy <laughs> in the original. But we'll see. Anything's possible. And it's still the case that um, none of the three targets so far had a, me a mental breakdown. Which is definitely different from the original. To the original, yeah, they all went through a breakdown and I'm pretty sure they all died. I don't know. I still have to go back to uh, replay the original on the side. I haven't been doing that. Uh, Alright, let's go to Ginza to get some sushi. Actually, I haven't had sushi in a while. Uh, famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan. Uh, the forefront of trends, aside from the shops, have phase are plenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. Yes. Nice. Let me now hang there. I've yet to actually invite somebody to hang out somewhere. Ooh, that was fancy sushi. <laughs> it's really funny because, you know, Ryuji's supposed to be the, uh, I don't know, delinquent type, but <laughs> it's totally sounds different in <laughs> Japanese. Sounds like the <laughs> and she's like singing. That's what good food does to you, though. But, uh, yeah, Ryuji definitely is more like comedic, comedic relief. Rather than like a you know hard uh, gangster type or delinquent type. I was even thinking of what Kanji from Persona 4. Same thing, really. Like the hard character is actually a soft tail inside. Uh, let's see what uh, what kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such thing? Wait, who? Medjin. Oh, boss. So, Jiro. He is pretty stri uh, strict. No good jerk. Oh, no. Not the chief. <laughs> it's not just... Oh. Oh, no palace. Yep. Sojo is a great guy. Mm. Alibaba. What? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> too much. Too much, Ryuji. <laughs> Everybody's like... You wrong for saying that, Ryuji. Yeah, I haven't had sushi in a long time, but I just... Oh, you stupid, Ryuji. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Riju's always blurting out crazy stuff. <laughs> Rubbish. Poppycock. <laughs> so he's the reason why Makoto, you know, found out. But anyways. Nijima-san. どうしたのこんなところで。明智か。明智。君たちはテレビ局でもしかして新島さんの友達知り合いか初めまして。明智って言います。よろしく。明智。なぜ俺の名を。ゆうすけ。それは僕が超能力だから。というのは嘘で。
Oh, what? Oh, what? ホームページが更新されていたよ。文字で。え、これ。なんて書いたんだよ。随分動揺しているようだけど。あ。え。あ、everyone's <laughs> <laughs> なんなんです。さっきから。Exactly. <laughs> もし君が回答団の一員だったらどうする<笑><笑><笑> カイトダンをプロファイリングした結果、未成年のグループだと僕は考えている。放課後は比較的自由に行動し、ロラティブアマナフリータイム。<笑> 君たちを疑ってるなんて一言も言ってないだろ。ウィージスファンです。ま、セイスファン。イッスフェイス。イッスフェイス。イッスフェイス。ソクルトはね。僕の予想のラーメンを呼んでくれるね。ウィージスフェ
Waste of a Sunday. ここに来るまでいろいろ話したけどよ。やっぱアリババの力を借りる以外ねえな。どうやって連絡を取るかよね。アリババは勘違いして連絡を取ったわけだろう。だったら双葉の心を盗めば向こうから接触してくるかもしれないな。キーワードとかさっぱりだぞ。アリパパふざけんなどこにいんだよ実はすごく近くにいるのかもしれないえねえ仮に私たちが双葉の心を盗んだとしてよアリババはどうやって海心を確認するつもり携帯のやり取りで確かめる直接会うってことかアリババはここに予告状を届けられるしかも双葉の状況を確認できるでも事情があって私たちには会えない会っているところを見られるとまずいということかもしれないもしかしてアリババの正体はマスターの家にいる本人かもしれないマジでじゃあ自分の心を盗めと頼んでるのか虐待で傷ついた心を盗んでとかなかなか言えないかもマスターに会ってみたいんだけどすぐ近くに住んでいるのよね、uh, I know where his house is. 俺も賛成だけどこんな夜遅くになんつって会いに行くんだ寿司よりお土産って Oh yeah My fatty tuna. Monkey, you and I know. Mina, they came so. Daddy, they eat a do you can't get the other. Oh, yeah. You two are dating. Then I know. Oh, yeah. Boss is at home. Okay, it's either. Boss is doing boss things. Coreda can or a sebo, kill the show. Taba, I didn't know. They take them on your so the car. でもあれよく見たら中の扉もうっすら開いてるんじゃないなんでかしら不用心ねおっと一雨来そうだな If in the rain. とりあえず入ろうぜいいのかな大丈夫じゃね ?Probably <笑> Probably ごめんなさい We in there. Wait, Riji needs to fix his posture. He's like hunchbacking over there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, I don't care what neighborhood I live in. I'm always locking my doors. <laughs> I don't trust nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that was Futaba screaming, right? Or that Anne? I'm pretty sure it was Futaba. What <laughs> <laughs> Yep, hold my hand, girl. That's not my hand, girl. <laughs> She's like, can I hold your hand? Just grabs his shoulder. Like, what? Like, yeah, my character's just so cool. It's like, yeah, you can hold me wherever you want, girl. <laughs> that. My leg. <laughs> oh, <boo. laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> How are you today? Sojo, run!
Uh oh. How are we gonna <laughs> just chill here? <laughs> One second. I love how we just chill here and Makoto's still just hanging on our leg. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? <laughs> We're just so cool about it too. We're just chilling. You know, she just, you know, in the hallway, you know. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. But I was like, no. It's nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. Things happening. I just grabbed his legs and now everyone shows up. <laughs> I <laughs> I do that sometimes, you know, just leave my shit out, you know. <laughs> I love how Arcade has been just standing here, like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. あの、双葉さんにお会いすることはできませんか。多分さっき驚かせちゃったのでお詫びがしたくて。わかるけどね。それはな。どこかご病気とか。いや、そういうわけじゃ。何か変なご解されても嫌だしな。<笑> え、隠さず話しておくべきだったな。ここじゃあいつに聞こえるから店行くぞ。ちょ、ヘアサービスでいい。はい、ポリティニュー。え、ヨーライブゲッド。That's <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's another typical day. It's had basic paperwork <laughs> at the office, or like documents to scan and file and all that goodness. Um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I don't know if there was any difference in the, in the story so far, and at least dealing with Futaba. So, again, it feels like I'm experiencing most of this for the first time. Oh, it's the sad songs, the sad musics. Alone? Oh, what about her daddy? <laughs> Soldier's like, ah, my daddy. It wasn't a father. Or what? I mean, there's no daddy. Oh, Danny. あいつは一人で双葉を産んで、一人で育てたんだ。双葉のことは本当に可愛がってた。普通の中のいい親子だったよ。いや、ちょっと違う。What's <laughs> シャドウに飛び込んだんだ。なあ。そんなのショックどころじゃない。辛すぎだろ。それでだ。I'm 
アジメアを下げ込んで一言も話してくれなかったやっぱり自殺が王を引いてて俺から話しかけているとポツポツと口を開くようになってなそれで分かったんだあいつは母の死を全て自分のせいにした That's why she wants her heart changed She'd stop blaming herself どうしてそこは喋ってくれない事情を知りたかったが傷口をえぐるようなことはやめたよそれで数ヶ月前からだ何もねえのに急に怯えたりするようになった声が聞こえる母親が見ているってな幻覚や幻聴か医者には双葉が徹底的に拒んだ更新してもらっても部屋に鍵かけやがるそれで閉じこもっていわゆる引きこもりになっちまった家の外には一歩も出ねえし I'm sorry to become a shadow because I don't play volleyball right now I really wanted to go today a little bit, but I mean, I haven't tried running or jumping, so like, maybe I'll wait. Mm, I will say I do wear my shoes, like my new shoes, while I exercise at home. So I will say I can probably somewhat move rather well in my shoes, but I think out of my shoes without the proper support would definitely be a bad idea, so. うーん、わかりました。双葉に必要なのは何物にも脅かされない安心できる環境だ。死にすぎます。それ Wait, did, do they say how old Futaba is? She's like, what, 14? That age area prep. Uh, what does Futaba want? She won't, she won't talk to him. Complicated books. <laughs> じゃあな。早く帰れよ、お前ら。ずけずけと立ち入っちゃって悪いことした。虐待なんて絶対ねえな。心を盗んでほしい理由はきっと母親のこととかんけあるんだろうね。辛く苦しい心を捨て去りた
辛く苦しい心を捨て去りたいということか自分じゃどうにもならないんだろう海心で助かるのかな助ければ俺たちもメジエドに対抗できるか待てよそもそもパレスあんのか調べてみようぜ桜宗次郎宅に住む桜双葉でいいのかこれはあったぞ悪人じゃなくてもパレスは存在するのねえもろがなえっガードおがな doing infiltration work work m c c o c k I guess I have to go look for him. Oh god, and I might pass each other. I should wait till tomorrow. Oh, I see. Uh, well, that means I can't leave my room. <laughs> It's a helicopter. I can actually think for myself now that Morgana's not here. <laughs> uh, can't read anything. I don't want to work out. It's a waste. So I guess we're just gonna make more. What? Can't even make anything? I can't even work out. I can't do shit without Morgana. What the hell? <laughs> How did my character even function? <laughs> what the heck? Bruh. <laughs> That's kind of lame. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> like, you gonna go sleep without knowing where I was and is? I mean, like, <laughs> that is bitch. Like, what? Can't do shit without you. The heck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was told like in Royal, like Morgana kind of lets you do a little more things than in the original, because I'm pretty sure everyone's like annoyed to shit that they couldn't do anything <laughs> because of Morgana. I feel like it's still the case though. So I'm like, <laughs> it's, can we just. That's well, the rest of your plans for today, Amanda. Knight's technically young, I guess. Young? まあ、お前らと同い年くらいだな。髪の長さと声の感じからして。Pretty young sound。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人でないことは大変。ただ、素人
So yeah, just gotta fix some things before it's. Seems that you should be starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Oh, yeah, I remember in the original that um, you actually don't. But you actually don't get her link right away, right? I think you get it after her palace. I feel like that's what they try to do with all the characters, but you can't gain their social link until after you uh, deal with their palace or whatever. If I remember correctly. I don't know. I, I said I gotta play through the original again. Something that on the side. Um, but yeah, I remember hers didn't come till after the confessions thing with Jigger, so it's pretty interesting that they give it to us now. But it makes sense though, because you know they don't want us to not make certain um personas, right? Because uh I'm pretty sure a lot of players are more incentivized to be used for personas they have social links with or whatever high social links with. Uh, so yeah, I, I would also skip the judge <laughs> if I uh, knew I didn't have a social link with Sai. I think how many more houses are before this time. So I think it's so this one. Harus, so that's two. Yeah, I think Sai was next, so like three. Uh, they're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting. I guess I need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, and don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Uh, spend your summer break quietly. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. My jet statement was insane. Fuel Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. Could just be a joke. And there's talk that this could lead to the biggest uh, leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're gonna target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward uh, to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjed is after. This is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. Don't be hasty. I applaud your cool-headedness, but it'll be too late if we wait until after something's happened. If Medjid does something drastic, what will people think of us? Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Oh, hey James. Good morning. Um, is there something over there? Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. I'm just, you know, eavesdropping. Yeah. What I normally do. Some, uh... At least our character seems like an introvert. Seems that way, anyways. Assembly during summer vacation. Are they crazy? That's yeah, true, too. It's like, it's my day off. <laughs> Let me sleep in. This could have been a news report or something. No, I'm just kidding. Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. It is bald head ass. <laughs> it's so stupid. I wish I could change their hearts. Why not make a post exactly? Our, oh, never mind. <laughs> Talking about to the, the Phantom Thieves. Uh, our request might be taken. Uh, yeah, I'm debating what I'm going to eat tonight. Oh, they didn't even show the assembly. I guess there was nothing important. But... Yeah, it's been a while since I've gotten a Euro, actually, so I could do that. I just, the only problem is it's like... 20 plus minute adventure. <laughs> Let's go get that. But I can just go to like Taco Bell. I don't know if I go earlier enough, I can even go checkers. Or it could be, uh. I don't know what the word would be, but I can just find something at home to eat. Checkers! Oh, that sounds good, yeah. And they're all. Very close, so I have to go out there and get it. Yeah, I would DoorDash, but I'm also against paying for those types of services. <laughs> like, why not just get up out of, off my ass and go? They're, they're very close, it's like... So Checkers and talk about like five minutes from me, driving. 
And the Euro place, our Salem's, is a good uh, 15 or so. They, they tend to be busy, like, late night, because they're one of the few places that are open to like, 4 a.m. They're like a fast food type of place. Um, though they do make things to order, so it's like, semi-fast <laughs> fast food. So. But yeah, um, there's a place called The Joint nearby, also. That's good. 10 minutes down the road. There are a restaurant that actually stays open to like 2 a.m. It's kind of like an app. Better than Applebee's, for sure. Applebee's is also an option. So yeah, I don't know. It's all figured out. There's also a Pizza Hut, but they close at midnight, though. Wait, I think I did... I did download the Domino's app, because <laughs> I know April was talking about that as a piece of option. And I noticed that there is one by him that's like across the street. <laughs> so yeah, I understand why he's like, Papa John's, that's forever away. Compared to, yeah, across the street. <laughs> uh, what were you talking about? Uh, how an individual asks you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like or the distortion that would be there. Oh, hell yeah, we gotta do it because we need to be getting up in there. Fight some more personas. I feel like, for me, as much as the story is great, I really do like the fighting and the battle mechanics and leveling up, getting stronger personas, just annihilating <laughs> shadows, etc, etc. So yeah, the one thing I probably like better, like in terms of comparing Persona versus SMT is the just constant Ability to just fight and grind in SMT. As, at least in the Nocturne, there wasn't too many plot points, per se. It's just a lot of fighting and then running around. And then, you know, do a plot point here and there, and then just back to fighting <laughs> and stuff. So, I do enjoy that more, I will say, but... Uh, of course, this story about conspiracy and all this is also really good. Uh, I forgot what you were talking about. Uh, boss is busy running cafes, and he we should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Poor memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into human, right? You sure you human? <laughs> Just antagonize the cat. Definitely want this mission to succeed. Oh, another thing is, if I go to the downtown, or not, it's not downtown, but it's like 15 minutes away, Salem's, I could order a slice of cake. But should I be having this, <laughs> should I be having cake this late at night? I don't know. Uh, you really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. <laughs> should live up to my expectations. Hey. Level up, baby. Nice. Allows you to craft all infiltration tools. Hell yeah. I don't know what else that could be. Ace tools. <laughs> they went without us because we're just sitting here chilling. Yeah, all that cheesecake stuff, though. I really want one. <laughs> but like a fancy one, not like a basic cheesecake with like syrup on it. I want like some fancy. Not a prison. Or a prison. Prison. Labyrinth. Oasis. Oasis. Mm. I know she has a pyramid, but is that ruins? I could just ask her directly. <laughs> We're just gonna bust in there. We're sneaking in. <laughs> We're breaking it in, right? 
双葉の部屋の位置は分かってるマスターに出くわしたら今度こそごまかしは聞かないよ店にいるから大丈夫じゃない腰が引けてんなまこと俺らはこんくらいいくつもくぐり抜けてきたぜそれしかないのよね双葉はあなたに接触してきたんだしあなたになら話してくれるかもしれない分かった行きましょう <laughs> Open up his LAPD. <laughs> Wait, what? It's the police. We know you're in there. <laughs> Open up or else. <laughs> A what? Oh, why are you here? <laughs> Wait, I react to say that name. Found you. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh man, there's a place that's just wings. <laughs> that's the name of the restaurant too. It's just wings. It looks so good. What was I 11 though? I have to go to this place at some point. That's only a 2.4 though. Anyways, think about food later. <laughs> uh, does she not like us saying her name? Oh, that's right. さくら双葉本人と話がしたいんだけど。ちょっとでもいいから答えてほしい。オッケー。じゃあ、私たちのリーダーがルブランの屋根裏に住んでる彼があなたと話をしたいって頼んだよ。キーワードを聞き出して。
金城の銀行とは正反対の考慮とした感じさっさと行こうぜパレスどこよあっちかおキラキラしてんな砂漠の墓なるほどとにかくあそこに向かいましょう遠くない Get in the car. 歩くのまさか肉球やけどするわ待ってました I've been waiting for this 冷房ガンガン効かせとくぜ気が利くじゃんへへ<笑>ままあな<笑>よっしゃ出発だ Oh, Scorpion. <laughs> What's with this, like, its tunes? Sounds like a lame porno. Is <laughs> that why? It has the porno sound. Girls are sweaty. In their white mm, shirts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why this sounds like this. <laughs> I love how you skate the only one that's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Yusuke is like, <laughs> I like when she hits us. <laughs> nice. What? Aircon, zenzen, kite ne jan. なんだよあの生温かい風はあれが限界なんだよ文句言うなたく本当に半端なおおやるのかもう,もううるさい暑いんだからイライラさせないでまさかパレスがピラミッドとはねピラミッドなあピラミッドって墓なんだろう。王墓だな。それが有名だけど、諸説あるわ。死者の復活装置、なんて言われてたりもするし。死者の復活ね。それにしても美しい。黄金比。ゴールデンレイシュ。つかさ。ピラミッド。入らね。ゴールデン、シルバーレイシュ。Yeah, it is gonna be cooler inside. There's no sun. <laughs> so freaking hot. Come on, let's go inside. Uh, let's switch the party around. So we've been rolling around with that particular party for a while now. Uh, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Look at how much they need. Uh, so I think. These two can go, we can bring in the ladies. And we're gonna. Oh, we probably can't go in straight, right? Maybe we can't go in straight, but I think when we come back, we can't come in through the front. Butaba's palace, so this is how she thinks of that house. Who knows what uh, may await us within? Uh, what is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Okay, we'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yeah. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. Wait, I'm pretty sure this is the dungeon or palace we meet Mott, I think. I think that's one of the higher level personas. Whoa, it's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioners or something? Maybe because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, even our clothes haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. It is refreshing that uh, she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. 
I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to go or be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. It does feel weird <clears throat> being in our normal clothes. It's funny because the uniform pants kind of look like pajama pants <clears throat> because they're plaid. Uh. Mm. The stairs go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many steps. Don't ask for too much. Uh, we should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if uh, that's where the treasure waits. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Man, no enemies or nothing. I'm off for shit like this. <laughs> Beauty. I'm just running. I'm just running. Oh, look who it is. Hmm? There's someone there. It's the princess of the tomb. あ、クイーン、ウォチエブ。おい、お宝はどこだよ。ウェジャー、ウェジャー、ベッチ。知らないはずはないけど。口聞けねえのか?ちょっとそんなに。どんアジテイト。ごめんね、双子ちゃん。
Well, so much for that. Ah, uh, we're safe. Uh, that was too close. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? Good idea. <laughs> I'm like, let's just go. No planning. Return another day. Wasting my days. Oh, yeah, I uh, got the DLC costumes because they're free, apparently. Um, it was really nice. So I did get the uh, Starlight costume, so we can listen to the alternate musics, battle musics. Oh yeah. Need help her before she destroys all of Japan or Tokyo or whatever. Mm, convenient. Sounds good to me. Yep. ピラミッド内部は何が起きるか予想もつかないぞ。我が輩たちの墓場にならないよう。くれぐれも注意を払えよ。Crazy summer vacation. So I'm just gonna push through the days normally, and if there's a day there's nothing we can do, then uh, let's just go to the palace. Staring at me with a dirty look, you purr. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great view. At least he's not shy about it. <laughs> Yusuke was not looking at Anne at all. You <laughs> can't stare because you're the car. <laughs> Got him. <sighs> Uh, your hideout has moved from the Shibuya building access, access way to the cafe in La Blanc. Or whatever. Webs. No! Oh, yeah, I would shit myself. <laughs> That's all. Anyway, look at me like that. <laughs> I'd be like, oh hell no. Well that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medjed? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were, uh, uh, were a waste. Medjed will <laughs> just enters the chat. Uh, Medjed will definitely make a move. Alibaba, I'm checking on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba. Can you really do something about Medjet? Of course. Because <laughs> I am Medjet. Unfortunately, we... Uh, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like uh, take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Till then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but uh, we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why did this have to be during summer vacation? Uh, we don't have any other choice. James, uh, as always, uh, we'll, leave uh, we'll leave it to you to call us together. <laughs> All right. They actually let us do something today. Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. I tried to access the URL, but it says that page doesn't exist. 
The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? No, it's Alibaba. Oh, who's Alibaba? Anyway, uh, this has to be Medjed's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh. What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. Uh, I'm gonna try and look into a little more, though. Uh, see you. <laughs> yeah, Futaba ain't playing. And yeah, we can't go nowhere. Uh, does that mean we just make more tools? It's a crossword puzzle. There's no crossword puzzle. Uh, okay, I don't want to study. That's kind of a waste. So I do think that we'll max out our knowledge soon. Or at least automatically. Alright, so there should be new tools. The perma pick! I don't know where we'll get that. Treasure trap? What does this do? It increases the chances of or encountering treasure demons and balances. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna make that. Hypno mist, a mist that puts nearby enemies to sleep. Uh, let's do the treasure trap. Hell yeah. I don't even remember the treasure trap from the first game. Yeah, definitely want to make that super lockpick at some point. I think our proficiency is going to be the first thing that maxes out. We'll see. Yeah. Alright. I forgot we're on holiday. That's why all the dates are red. Eat a wave. If you want for Taba's help, we're going to have to steal her treasure by the day before the deadline. So we have to find the treasure by the 18th and send the calling card by the 19th. It's up to you when you, we go to the palace, but keep the deadline in mind, alright? Mission starts. A request will appear on the Phantom Aficionado website as rumors of the Phantom Thieves spread. Use these tips to track targets and mementos. Exploring mementos and defeating shadows is an effective way to gain experience. Grow strong by battling both rare and common shadows in mementos. And causing uh, red alerts to happen, pretty sure. Hey, we can't just let that a beast case go und undressed. The target should be in mementos. Let's hurry up and deal with them. That's a lot of people. <laughs> All our friends is like, we doing something today? Uh, probably. Oh, wrong one. Actually, I think I have one for everybody. Except for Chariot. So we have Priestess, Lovers... Oh, we have Emperor for, uh... Yusuke. We also don't have Chariot for Ryuji. So we're just gonna hang out with the girls, looks like. Uh, save. I was gonna check who's or what ranks are each person at. Uh, confidant. They're both at. I'll probably hang out with uh, Makoto then, because I believe Anne's at. Yep, I've. So yeah, let's just level up Makoto. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing else we can do before the day goes. Uh, perfect. <laughs> you have a good look on your face. You can have this. Look at your face with, with it. A what? Dandy mirror. A what? What's this? You actually are pretty smart, huh? You showed me. Studying is good and all, but men need to keep up their looks too. True. <laughs> Looking clean is important. Yep. Don't want to. Don't want to look raggedy. I definitely did not do that the first playthrough, so I wonder what that is. Oh yeah. I do want this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll put it on right now, but... Where's the other one? The dandy mirror. Ooh, Counter-Strike! Pretty sure Counter-Strike is better than Counter, right? Um... Yeah, let's do the, this revolution anklet. Oh, yeah, we have 
Morgana and and Makoto. I wonder who has the most physical attack. I'll equip them with the mirror. I forget. Does counter is counter based off of? I'm trying to think how counter damage is calculated. I think it's actually based off of the um, enemy's damage. Now that I think about it. So I guess it doesn't matter who I give it to. Oh, look at that strength, though. Um, 31. Oh, it's a big jump. Oh, her strength, her magic, uh, 32. It's because she has an armor that gives her plus six magic, so she's going to be beefy. Um... I actually don't know who I want to give it to. Uh, let's see. Also, since Ryuji is now in the back seat, we can give him a team glasses to help level him up faster. Kaja Vault Guardian. What was this? Bears a seal of a hoarder. Innate bear can deflect all attacks. So it gives like Tetra card and Makara card at the same time. Which is pretty nice. Uh, what does this do? Nullifies wears, weaknesses. I forgot what Bleeding Dry Brush does. All stats plus three. It's too strong. <laughs> that DLC item is too strong. Uh, I have no idea what Samurai Spirit does. I'll put it on just to see what it does. Yes, that's... Increases evasion from criticals and magic attacks. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Uh, what do I want instead? No bless curse, I'll attack. I don't know what some of these things do. God damn. Camera strap, heat up. I wish they can tell me what that does instead of just saying it. Uh, fast heal. See, I don't know what fast heal does. Oil pack. Maybe I could put dodge electricity so. Morgana can't get downed as easily. There, electricity. So I feel like Morgana is definitely more of a healer type. Not even like a... It's like it's full... Kind of like white mage status. It doesn't even have that many buffs. At least right now. Alright, uh, and... Oh yeah, I do like the Cup of uh, Champions Cup. Yusuke is in the reserve, so we can get the team glasses. Makoto... Maybe I... Sh Wait. Is it only... Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, like, where's my mirror? Fine. Oh yeah, uh... Whoa! Plus five endurance. So much better. Everyone can get that. That's a lot of defense. Uh oh yeah, I didn't want to switch this because again, I mean, plus six magic is so much better than that. <laughs> All it is like plus one defense. It's not even that worth yeah. It's very bad compared to it. Uh definitely want this. And she already has her golden vest. Alright, cool. Uh, and we're heading out with Makoto, I believe. Actually, let's check the shops before I go anywhere. Need more Vigi games and stuffs. What's this? Oh yeah, a gambling game. Make me more charming, hell yeah! Yeah, anything else in this plaza alley? 
I wonder if they're gonna open this up eventually, the theater. To Kemi, I can't level up yet. Wait, wasn't there? Oh yeah, there's a grocery store, but I don't know if we can buy anything. Uh, some mixed nuts. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need, I don't need any of that. Let's go to Shib. Make sure there's no other books or anything like that. Soothing soda. Soothing soda. Restore us 200. It's actually pretty good. I can only get one though. Oh, soothing soba. Oh, that's soothing soda. <laughs> it's practically the same thing, right? Uh, make sure the bookstore and DVD shop has been explored. No new DVDs. I got all the books. I've spent a considerable amount of time um, in the velvet room, so I'm gonna chill out. Go in there. Uh, it's time to hang out with Makoto. Oh, during today I just finished up some student council work. Even though it's summertime, I have some things to take care of, and I'll be in the school vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Let's go. I'll be right in front of the school entrance. Hey, girl. Have you decided on our plans for today? Let's hang out. Now, <laughs> I guess if that's really what you want to do, is this part of your grand strategy? That's exactly right. I suppose it won't hurt to take things a little slower. Um, if you're available, I'd like to talk to you about Eiko. Oh yeah. Hang out with her. I have a small a uh, favor to ask you. Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and uh, we can uh, take the back entrance into the school. Apparently Aiko has started dating a host from a club near her work. I guess he um, hit, her on one, hit on her one day after her shift and that was that. Since then he's the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. <laughs> it's not even Disneyland. Oh, anyway, uh, let's open up our the cheat sheet here. Are you jealous though? He sounds suspicious. Oh, this kind of reminds me. It's funny because I actually first. I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, but. Um, I watched a little bit of Frozen for the first time last week, and that was pretty much the premise to some degree. Like, uh, Anna, the sister of Elsa, meeting some random dude for the first time and then, like, falling super in love. <laughs> That's always <laughs> suspicious. So, yeah. That's exactly the situation right here. Uh, for now, it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. But Eiko, Eiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people is outdated. <laughs> I don't know. And she even uh, said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would solely flunk a test about love. That's about love on a thing, though, and even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't want them. But <laughs> our character's like, lashing out. Or, she's lashing out. I'm sorry about that. Um, probably just being biased towards him. I mean, I don't have any proof that he's untrustworthy, but that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, uh, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. This time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. Oh, we got this. <laughs> it's honestly okay. Uh, you're so reliable. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I have a boyfriend, Eiko might be more inclined to listen to me. To tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Oh, jeez. <laughs> She's new, we're gonna agree. One way or another. <laughs> Sorry. But it's just going to be at a diner. Uh, nothing particularly fancy, I promise. 
<laughs> yeah, man, it's like... <laughs> what the hell? You can't just be... You know, setting shit up without my consent, but... You know... It's fine. <laughs> We're all a team. Thank you, you're a tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I uh, don't know who else I'd... Uh, have asked if you had said no. Yeah, it's Ryuji. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's like, can't trust Ryuji with nothing. But yeah, he's the type to overreact and all that stuff. Nice, level up. Yeah, I would not trust Ryuji with nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where, like, he's a person with low... What's it, emotional IQ? Maybe just IQ in general, so he's just all around dumb. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, you trust us, but we, we don't tr quite trust them. Uh, Aiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some information on that ghost. Oh, see you later. But yeah, especially at this age. Nah, you can't trust nobody. Nobody. Uh, sorry I had to ask something so unreasonable. I appreciate you going along with it, though. Do you think Aiko really, or Aiko's really okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid about her boyfriend. But if it turns out he really is toying with Aiko, what should I do? Uh, try to reach out to her. Mm, you're right. We're friends now, so I'm sure she'll understand if I can just have an honest talk with her. Yeah. Phew. I keep thinking in circles here. I need to stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see who this host is behind his smile, for Aiko's sake. Okay, I'll call you again later. Sounds good, Makoto. Alright, see who we can hang out with it tonight. Uh, just what's Menji gonna do? It is hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have really been up in arms about the whole lens thing. They think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? Uh, we have to act. Sure, but no matter how you look at it, no, we need a countermeasure. Our best bet would be Alibaba, but she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we should think of some other ways to uh, do them. Yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? Uh... I mean, we can't really rank up with Sojiro, so there's really no point of hanging out with him. It's, it's a good chance that he's already ready to uh, level up, but I mean, just right now he's not able to rank up. Uh, and that's also reflected in the guide I'm using, so. It's like after Futaba Bazaar is when we can actually rank him up further. Uh, also, his like perks, I guess you can call them, uh, they're not that great, so. Let's see why we don't have enough guts. Dang it. I catch it, he doesn't want to rank up yet, he's a bitch. <laughs> uh, Ifumi. I have so many people I need to work on. Uh, I wanted to rank up or I'll become a confidant with the fortune teller lady, but uh, I believe you can't do something to take care of her side quests in Metaverse, so. I'm going to put that off. Uh, I think I should hang out with Mishima. He is the only one that's ready to rank up a right meow. Uh, so let's go. I do want to eventually set up the devil social link with the uh, reporter lady, but... Again, just one thing at a time. Alright, Mishima, I'm here for you. Hey, I was told that apparently you don't really need a moon. Persona to rank up with Mishima faster. It's kind of just automatic. Uh, probably based on all the side quests you do. Or the requests you do. So. I don't think I have my moon persona. But it's still weird because you can answer questions to gain like more social rank or whatever with them. But I guess it's just for funsies. And the Phantom Thieves are practically unstoppable. Everyone loves you guys. <laughs> As do I, of course. So, uh, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, so I've been researching that actor, and I came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow stronger soon, but... Let's put the but. 
That's not the butt. But I guess we'll figure out what this butt is. Thanks. Let's head to the diner then. Oh, don't talk about food. I'm hungry. <laughs> mm, so you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone ever or yeah wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. What a bitch. At any rate, uh, we can't oppose the will of the public. Uh, good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. Uh, you're so reliable. Oh, still give me three regardless. You know, I don't have my main persona. I guess. I mean, this is my job. I'm your producer, remember? Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So we're gonna purge them. But what? <laughs> Sounds pretty twisted. You really need to chill, yeah. Mishima is like out of whack. I don't know if he was like this in the original, but he's definitely on edge. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? Yeah, it definitely is. Especially when there's four or five movies <laughs> called The Purge. Which I heard they're making another, another, another Purge, which is interesting. I've only seen the second one, which was pretty. It was a good one. What was it, the third one? I forget. Uh, otherwise, I watched like reviews or like summary videos on them on YouTube. They're yeah, interesting, but I wouldn't like watch a whole movie on it. But. I think it's just like that for me in general with like uh, horror movies or you know whatever you want to call them suspense, suspense thriller horror. Uh, I'd rather watch um, summary videos on them instead of actually watching them getting spooked and having nightmares and all that. <laughs> so uh, I haven't watched summary videos in a while so I feel like I watched so many of them that I've seen most of the kind of like big horror movies that are out there you know through them but I don't know. Maybe Halloween's coming up, so maybe I'll start watching them again for fun. Um, anyways, there's not really any better way to phrase it, though. Well, there is, but just don't use Purge. <laughs> the truth is, I looked up some of those idiots who are crit criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. The fuck? <laughs> Mishma, why? I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped dissing the Phantom Thieves. Uh, there are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> that laugh. It's so maniacal. Isn't this great? Plus, now that all these or those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Uh, post after post after post, it's all please and help me. <laughs> It's so much fun. Are we gonna change his heart? Cause yeah, he's losing it. You're worrying me. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I could change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Know that we have the strength to do it. You are just he's like a I man. I never watched it, but the guy from Death Note, the main guy from Death Note. He like has this power, but he like sends some other entity to do his dirty, quote unquote, dirty work. Oh, speaking of this guy, eh? Uh, Akiyama can. Yo, Mishima, I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other uh, here not that long ago. Yeah, the last time we hung out <laughs> with Mishima. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, uh, Akiyama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem... quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Well then why the fuck? <laughs> it's like, why you approach us for? Zero? He acts like I'm a total nothing, but he still tries... Uh, he still takes time to try and mess with me. Uh, I've changed though. I'm way better than a loser like him. Yeah, that guy. I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. 
They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of that actor's. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama Kun. Let's see, where's his info? <laughs> our character's just like blinking at him. He's like, uh, you've totally lost your nuts. Um, speaking of targets, uh, are you guys gonna come after me someday too? Well, if you're crazy like this, then yeah. Are you feeling guilty? Uh, you're really considering it? <laughs> Good joke, Tree. Anyways, uh, I'm heading home. Uh, I'll send you Akiyama's guns info later. Mission is trying to push a target on us to advance his own agenda. Exactly. I should discuss this with the others. Yeah, we need to change his ass. I mean, his heart. <laughs> so, he just wants to get me. I love how we call everybody over at, in the middle of the night <laughs> to talk about Mishima. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure everyone doesn't live all the way out here in our town or whatever. Uh, so, he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us some other weird request too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima Kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Why don't we do both? Because they're both bitches. Oh, wait up. He ain't that bad. Hmm. I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're gonna change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track him down uh, in Mementos. Or Shadow Mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you gotta be kidding. It may seem pre preposterous, but we can't allow him to disrupt our work. Either way, we can decide whether or not to change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Mm, this is the only way. Yeah, uh... Oh, we're gonna go right now. Nice. Yep, let's go in there and talk to him. Hello, Mishima. Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart even after everything I've done for you guys? Me, of all people? If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves will get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I want to be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? You losers, get out of here. I want to talk to your leader alone. Or what? <laughs> yes, they just leave us. I can take care of him. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted that I was a zero. Embraced it even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Oh, what? I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do something more. I want to change society too. I want, to, I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Uh... You're just riding our <laughs> coattails. Ow. Can you really blame me? Look at how boring I am. But you guys, you're special. You have the ability to change people, to change the world. <laughs> Mishima is annoying, yeah. I don't remember him being so such a bitch in the old one, but... I guess I just never maxed out a social link. In the, uh, in the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. He was a bitch too, yeah. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? Oh, what? You aren't gonna change my heart? Do it yourself. No. <laughs> yeah, you're not even worthless whooping your ass. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? <laughs> we out of here. 
No, no, I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to. I. <laughs> I am a bitch. Oh, what? <laughs> Just end up in bed randomly. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? He changed his own heart. Oh, no, it's Yusuke. Since it's a summer vacation, I'll be heading to LeBlanc tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet, and it's relaxing with the Sayori there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we could easily meet up should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. Don't worry, if you already have plans, I'll be stopping by either way. And if you like, we could spend time together. <laughs> Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? Might be nice to hang out with him. Mm, going to bed. Mm, don't remember what level I am with Yusuke. I think I actually do need to level him up, so I guess if we can, then I will have to... It's raining! Uh, I will have to pull out a thingy. You're ready for bed, stupid notes. Oh, you didn't even get your nap today, did you? So you're actually due for some sleepies. Sleepy times. There's 25 days left before Medjet's deadline. Don't slack off just because it's summer, okay? No nap today, no. Did you get some, like, rejuvenating tea or something? Or did you just tough it out the whole day? One of your friends is here to visit. Yep, use case here. Inviting a confidant to your room. If your confidants send you a message prior, they might visit a block and you can invite them up to your room to spend time with them. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I just topped it out and got a, a neuromuscular massage. A what? What's that? What the? What that be do? And now I'm sore and tired. No. Is that like you put electrodes on yourself and let it do its thing? And ranks up. Makoto ranks up. Everybody ranks up. What about Yusuke? I know Yusuke is here, but can I actually rank up with him? Is the question. The it's a trigger part massage, deep tissue, but it goes even deeper. It hurts. It hurts deeper. Too deep. But is it like a machine, or is it how does how does it work? So like a cause, uh, my massage gun actually has an attachment that makes it. More pinpoint, which I don't really use. I usually use the big ball <laughs> ball uh, attachment. Uh, oh, the massage therapist that does it. Wait, did they come to you or did you go to them? Oh, yeah, you can never go back. You can only go deeper. <laughs> oh, yeah, deeper. You go to them. I'm assuming they're nearby, so you don't have to go too far, especially since you're in like the middle of nowhere. Did you go in the morning or did you go like after everybody? After your clients? You went after work? Nice, nice. Good way to possibly relax? I don't know. Was it relaxing at least or did it just pert? <laughs> right back to your person. Uh, okay, so I need to release a persona. Let me see. Do I want to release or do I want to try to fuse? I think I'll... I, I can fuse. I want to keep faith for uh, loser face. I can actually get rid of this one. Since I can't rank up with Takemi for a, a little bit. Justice for Akechi. I want to keep my Neko Shogun though. Or do I? I need to pull out the Empress. Hey, who is Empress? Oh yeah, the um, what's her name? He, the uh, chess girl. Yeah, let me uh, pull out Yasinki. Uh, reclaim. New skill jailed. I don't know what's going to happen. You want to bail this persona out? All right, time's up. Check out the results of your persona's training. Dodge nuke. Oh, that is really good for that particular persona. It's not like I'm going to use this one because it's very low level now. But nice. 
Um, see, you never feel relaxed during those sessions, but it does help loosen your muscles, so I can't complain. That's good. So it definitely just sounds uncomfortable. But honestly, if your muscles are very tight like that, it, it is somewhat painful <laughs> to get up in there. Because of course you gotta loosen it all up, so... Gotta get up in there. Oh, nice. Wow. I mean, oh. It got two strength and two magic. I burned an incense to increase, I think, its strength by two. But I didn't realize other stats increase as well. That's pretty good. And also learning that dodge nuke is really good too. Uh, the Nekom Shogun is so cute. Yeah, it was one of the quests with the girls to craft one or fuse for one. So I made that. Uh, I think it needed Takaja. So it was, like a, it was a triple fusion. I get that, that was nice. Um, interesting enough, the stats are pretty low though. It's compared to. Some of the others. Oh yeah, also... I think I crafted this one. I think this was a special fusion as well. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I had to pay out the ass for this one, because this one was a lot more levels above me. But I believe this was also one of the tasks. Well, that looks interesting. Oh, never mind. That's actually really bad because I tend to not get ambushed ever. Um, anyway, go ahead and fuse you and you. Orpheus. I don't want Orpheus. Fortunes for the fortune lady. Which I could get as well. Uh, maybe I, I'd rather do this just so I can get a new persona. Uh, we're also about to catch a an animus in the next dungeon. Next palace. Uh, let me get this. Also realize I don't have a hermit social link yet. And I'm not quite sure who that would be. Hmm. It sucks losing this one. It's so good. That's okay. I really want it, which I eventually will since I need to level up the fortune social link. I will pull her back out. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to grab. Or this one. It's, you know, Pataka has already increased the damage, so I'm assuming it just gives you another plus innately. For the baton pass. Uh, they want AoE, so let's get AoE. Counts a growth to dodge nuke. Uh, we can do growth. 50%, that's pretty good. Go ahead. I am a Kuruma Tengu. It looks like I'm your mask now, so I guess I can train. I get to train you as much as I want. Uh, do I want to make another one for fun? I'm gonna. What about you? Oh, but the cat. I want to get rid of the cat. I also have to pay to make this one. Since I'm not 32. Not the cat. So I didn't even get to use the cat in combat yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on, Emperor. Or... Who's his face? Both. Oh yeah, I forgot I made this guy too. <laughs> Look at all that. Uh, 
Yeah, paid out the ass to make that guy too. What is this guy? So the question is, do we want to hang out with? Let me see. Uh, let me see. I kind of want to hang out with Yusuke just because he's over. But I also know these two will rank up if I hung out with them. But. We'll see. We'll talk to him and see what's, what's up. Uh. Oh, I can't. No. Alright, so I can't even talk to him. Alright, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Yusuke. Uh, I guess they're both at level 5 now, so... We've been hanging out with Makoto a lot, so let's hang out with Anne. Anne? Uh, we do have lovers. Oh, James, what are you thinking of doing today? Let's hang out. Are you sure about that? You still haven't found the treasure. We have plenty of time. I guess there's no point worrying if you're so sure. Oh, um, I went to see Shiho, or I want to go, or wait, I went to go see Shiho again the other day. I've been thinking about, or thinking a lot since that, or then though. <laughs> Do you have time to talk? Yep, let's uh, go hang out. Um, does the diner work for you? Let's go to the diner. Talk about food. Uh, so I talked to Shiho about what happened with Mika back at the photo shoot. And you know what she did? She laughed. She couldn't stop talking about how tough she thought Mika sounded. Honestly though, it was kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess you really just need someone to laugh at you if you want to feel better. Uh, it seems that way. So, so. I mean, they say, always say laughter is the best medicine. Uh, I've seen the truth of that saying firsthand. But anyway, even though I'm trying to strengthen my heart, she holds the real strong one here. I went to one of her rehab sessions the other day. Uh, she said she wanted me to be there. So I agreed without thinking much of it, but it ended up being pretty overwhelming. Uh, how so? Oh no, the sad music's coming in. It was a lot tougher than I'd ever imagined. It was horrible. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Yeah, like, you know, my ankle injury, it's... It was pretty severe, because I swelled up. I couldn't really walk well for the first, like, two or three days. Um, even the week after, I still, you know, felt a lot <laughs> of pain just trying to walk around. It was very really annoying. Um... Of course, I wore an uh, ankle sleeve and it was a little better. I even bought this particular one off of Amazon. I didn't have a super duty uh, kind of ankle sleeve. This one, like, you can wrap it around and make it extra uh, tight. So it gave you even more support. Um, so yeah, it was definitely painful. And even now, I'm like, it's, you know, doing a little bit of workouts here and there to increase my ankle mobility and strength. Um, so I do gotta be careful so I don't re-injure myself unnecessarily. Because right now there is scar tissue build up and I'm slowly trying to like, you know, help it dissolve by just moving my ankle around. Um, and it's kind of interesting because, you know, the body kind of knows, I guess, it needs to stabilize its whatever it is <laughs> that's injured. So yeah, it created like this thing, <laughs> I guess big old hard shell almost around the uh, injured part of my ankle and yeah it's still there and it hinders full ankle mobility and so I've been slowly working through it and hopefully by next week or maybe in a couple of more days if I feel brave enough I will go play um, I won't go all out obviously but I at least want to get back on the court slowly uh, Kind of rebuild myself skill wise and whatnot because yeah yeah i haven't played for almost a month now if not more than a month i think it was a month since yesterday um i mean muscle memory is a good thing you know 
I'm pretty sure once a ball starts flying at me, I just <laughs> instinctively move, but... Mm, yeah, I just know I just gotta get on the court if I want to get better and, you know, back in action, so... I uh, might wait till next week, I might wait till Friday, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it definitely is painful. Um, luckily, it wasn't as painful as you know, Shiho's rehabilitation, but... Yeah. Apparently she couldn't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs were filled with sand. But she dragged them along. Legs swollen with blood. Wait, are they even allowed to have her? Is she even allowed? Or, is it? I feel like she should wait. <laughs> I mean, it's probably part of physical therapy to like have her move around, but I don't know. I wanted to just make her stop. And by the time it was all over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said she wanted to give up, and that's why she asked me to come to keep her motivated. The whole thing, she the whole time she was complaining about things in ways she normally never would. But even with that, she finished her session. Said determination. I I don't know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? You're not weak. It's because you're kind. You're wrong. A what? <laughs> you know, even though all that pain, or even through all that pain, I thought Shiho was so cool. Beautiful, even. Despite all of her complaining, she still tried incredibly hard. Strength is more than just not getting phased, it's the power to fight through adversity. So I was thinking, and um, uh, what can I do to help Shiho? Mm, show her your own strength for character development. My strength? Yeah, I'll do just that. I'm gonna give it my all. You know, James, being with you really helps me see things clearly. What I should do, the strength, the true meaning of strength. Well, thank you for that. Oh yeah, chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members, which is hilarious. Because <laughs> uh, Rejerry has his, and all it is is to just, like, <laughs> hit the teammate. They just get fixed. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's that tough love. Uh, my nose is all runny. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know. <laughs> well, see you around. Oh, it's me. Uh, thanks for earlier. I feel better now that I got to talk to you about everything. I'm going to try my best to help Shiho out, in my own way. Uh, maybe our relationship won't ever be exactly the way it was before, but now that I saw her crying, I know I'll find something I can do for her. Mm, I'll... She's someone's motivated. Yep, I can't let her leave me behind. Watch me. One day I'll be cool and strong, just like Shiho. Mm, I feel great now that I got everything off my chest. You're such a great listener, James. Hope I can keep counting on you for that. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. What's gonna happen if we hit Medjed's deadline? I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something about it. Don't even know who Medjet is. What can they do about it? August 21st is deadline, right? I can't wait. Oh man, we have to wait a whole month. These people. The like impending doom is happening. They're like, whatever. Just a few degrees cooler would do it. Oh, teacher. This is Becky. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is Becky. I want to see you, master. But please request me. Uh, give me a second, actually. Oh, you're off? Sounds good. Yep, go to bed. Early morning tomorrow? No! More clients in the morning, or you just have something you have to do in the morning? Mm, Alright, have a good night. I'll catch you later. Uh, let me see here. Oh, it's crossword. Let's do crossword. Let's see. 
Medicine of varying legality. What? I'm not sure. Poppy product. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to look this up. Import illegally. Smuggle. So I know that's smuggle. This has other stuff though. Narcotics. It is narcotics. Uh, poppy product. Opium? Maybe I know more about this than I thought. <laughs> nice narc. Wait, that's not nice, probably narcotics. Alright, cool. I didn't have to look it up. Sweet. I've got it. The answer is narcotics. This term applies to any medicine that dulls the senses, but it is more often used as a general term or generic term for both legal and illegal drugs being misused. Morphine, a common narcotic used as a painkiller in many medical facilities, is named after Morpheus, the Greek god of sleep. Oh, I didn't realize that. Morpheus meant sleep. Alright. Um, so I could, you know, get Becky up in here. Or I can go to the hot springs, get some guts and charm. Uh, let me look at my. Oops. Oh, yeah. Do I have my temperance? I sell my temperance. I'm assuming everyone else is still around. Oh, the fortune teller girl not out today. Probably because it's raining. It's me. It's the other girl. Uh, I guess we can just hang out with the teacher. Alright, teacher. Or do I want to just... Mm, kind of sucks that there. Let's just work tonight. I would I would have went to the hot springs and easily. Unless I can't. Yeah, I can. Uh, uh, yeah, hot springs. A good day to go on a hot sp or on a rainy day like this. What level am I uh, at with... Kawakami. Five. That was higher. All right, maybe I'll just hang out with Kawakami then. I guess I can just do this way. All right. Let's call the service. I'm Becky, Gorilla Maid of the Maid World. Oh, what? The type of work we do depends on how. Oh, it's you. Today, I have a special item on the menu just for Master. Would you like to? You would you like that for five thousand yen? Yes, please. <laughs> Thanks for always requesting me. Well then, please wait for me till I get there. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> fanning her voice. Hey, uh, you know how you listened to my story the other day? You listened to uh, my secret. Uh, I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so I figured I'd actually do some housekeeping today to say thanks. Uh, Alright, I need to take a break. You just got here. Mm, Want to rest a bit? I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being, Master. Uh, I'm at my limit. <laughs> so exhausted. I was like, man, death. <laughs> I'm beat. I can't stop coughing. Uh, are you alright? She go home. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> the way she turns and coughs is... Makes me think that she's just like hacking away. Ah, just kidding. I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you. So the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? And have you been eating well? You need to eat your fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. 
Uh, Takase's guardian said they need more money, so I had to give my, or had my boss give me more shifts. I had to beg for them, but don't overdo it. No, it's fine. Nothing you should be worried about. I feel more at ease now that I have someone who knows about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. Yay. Allows you to also request Kawakami to make curry or tools. I can make her make tools. Or not tools, other uh, the curry. Super housekeeping, hell yeah. Uh oh, time's up. <laughs> I have to get to my next job, so I'm gonna head out. Thank you for using our service. Man. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. So I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I finally got some cough medicine. That works. Hey, you gotta do some cleaning and ventilating on your own, even when I'm gone, okay? If you neglect stuff like that, it makes you more likely to get sick. Uh, how are you feeling, though? Ooh, me? Uh, I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be talking- we're supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Oh, but if you do get sick, I'll look after you anytime, so please don't forget to request me. Ugh, I finally get rid of the cough and now I get these headaches and shivers. Times like these are why we invented energy drinks. I just gotta chug one and push through. Okay, see you later. Jesus, <laughs> she's not living a healthy lifestyle at all. Oh, somebody else wanna hang out? Uh, uh, uh who could that be at this hour? Beauty! I'm gonna hang out at your place. At the end of the day, we're not gonna hang out with you though. But my hideout, I can move out whenever. Uh, oh, I'm gonna I'm bring some manga, so you don't need to worry about me. If you got stuff to do, you can just ignore me. See ya. You're just coming over tomorrow, huh? Um, it's gonna be noisy all day. I'm gonna go sleep. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to hang out with Ryuji. That's oh, thunderstorm. Oh, it's gone. There's rainbow outside. Have the Phantom Thieves made their move yet? I don't get it. Uh, are they just gonna ignore them? I'm sure they're working on it. We're gonna be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish they'd take care of it already. I mean, I would, but... People keep wanting to hang out. Uh, I have a favor to- ooh! We're gonna hang out with you instead. Senpai, I have a favor to ask today. Uh, it's not really a gymnastics thing, but would you mind coming with me on a shopping trip? I mean, now maybe I should respond later. Nah. Sorry to bother you while you're enjoying your after meal coffee, but I'm gonna open up shop soon, so you either need to go upstairs or get the hell out of here. <laughs> nah, nah. Well, damn. Mm, if you have a day off, why don't we go somewhere? You have a day off every day. You know, we can hang out with her. So I was told that I need to get her to max, which is level 5. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you, not, do you not care about me reporting you to the police? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. We truly cannot wait any longer. Go ahead and report us. Hey. <laughs> Maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe. <laughs> True. But not today. <laughs> We're hanging out with Kasumi. Oh, that's Ryuji. Nope, no palace. Uh, we're going to hang out with you. Uh, yep. So you want to spend some time with uh, Yoshizawa? Yep. I can check my bond, but I'm pretty sure. Get in there. Especially with this, I can hook onto them. That's great. Go see her. I can do that. Oh, Sumi isn't responding. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
My phone always seems to be acting up. Uh, I think I'm good now, so about the place. Uh, it's in Kichijoji, you know it. I'll send you the location of the shopping or the shop. I'll be waiting. Sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, this place. Sorry for dragging you out here. I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wanting to come here for a while, but I never had the chance to drop by. Uh, you're looking to buy? Yeah, I want to get my dad a present. Uh, you seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted to get your advice. Could you try out a couple pairs for me? I'd like to get some visual reference. <laughs> so why do I look like you're dead? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. How about this pair? Wow, these look... Uh, these... Uh, oh, those really work for you. You look so cool. What do you think? Uh, pretty modern look. I know, it's so fashionable. And it's good that it'll help your vision, too. This could be a good one. Hmm. Dude, it suits your dad, though. So I'm not your daddy. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Hmm, right, maybe a little too hip for my dad. But uh, your input's been really helpful so far. Would you mind poking around with me for a bit longer? Of course. And be your girl. <laughs> Thank you. This is actually kind of fun. Let's pick up the pace. <laughs> look at my expression. I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing here? Wow, you look like a salesman. But it doesn't feel right somehow. Oh my lord. Those definitely leave an impression. Heck, people might remember the glasses and nothing else about you. Ah, she's so funny. Oh damn, shady. Oh. I appreciate the follow. It's a demonic omega. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good evening if it's a night where you are. They were just playing some Persona 5 Royal. It's my first time playing Royal. I played the original. Um, pretty much try not to get any spoilers about anybody. <laughs> um, so yeah, it feels like it's been the. It feels like truly a first time experience because it's been like. I think three years now since I played Persona 5 original. Um, wait, Aaron? Who's Aaron? Hmm. But yes, um, I'm doing pretty well. Just mess around <laughs> on Persona 5. Um, oh um, yes, this little meet with Kasumi has been silly. Uh, you finished a recently, ready doing another playthrough. Nice, very cool. Um, did you 100% all the social links? Yeah, actually watching the anime, see the changes? Nice. Yeah, I have the original, and I've been playing it on the side. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually played the original on the side, though. Um, cause like, I think I was on the Madarame arc in Royal, and I'm like, let me see how the original was. So I played through like half of the Kamashi arc of the original. Um, yeah, there are very minor changes. Um, one of the major ones is the hook, the hook shot thing. I think. Um, yeah, some other things too. Like definitely a lot of improvements from the original to this. Uh, one of the best ones is um, the gun. Uh, it reloads every fight in Royal, right? But in the original, you had double capacity, but it didn't reload. <laughs> so you just had like one round of a uh, gun <laughs> until it runs out. So you really have to like. Um, be conservative with your ammo so that's definitely a great change because they can just unload <laughs> all your gun damage every fight um they can see me best kill i guess <laughs> i don't know i i am romancing her this playthrough um original i romanced and and also it's kind of a meme but i romanced the teacher <laughs> and i didn't realize that you can romance both otherwise there are repercussions but you know I guess that is just like real life, right? <laughs> you can't be going after two different girls. Especially if they know each other or like in the same sphere. <laughs> I was just doing it for fun. Apparently in the other Personas, that wasn't really an issue, I don't think. I didn't really try it in Persona 4 or Golden though. I, I um, more or less a Rise on that one. 
And then in Persona 3, I romance uh, Yukari. It's kind of funny because I always tend to romance the lovers Persona girl, whoever has the lovers. It's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just more into that type of archetype <laughs> of a girl, but I do see the charm in all these other ones too. It's not like I wouldn't romance them all if I could, <laughs> but um, I find Anne is a basic romance for most people. Yep. Mm -hmm. but yes. Yeah, she's the uh, lover's arcana. I also guess she's kind of easy to do, yeah. It's kind of easy to choose the correct choices. Uh, I'm kind of cheating because <laughs> I'm using a guide to choose the best dialogue options. Because uh, I don't know if I'll do a second playthrough right away. Um, so I rotate, rotate through a lot of different JRPGs. Uh, before this, I was playing Final Fantasy 16. That was fun. That was really a good experience. Uh, they have a New Game Plus mode that might have more content, but I haven't played it yet. I don't know if I'll stream it. But I do want to play it at some point. Um, as for yeah, Persona 5 Royal, I don't see myself replaying it right away. So I also want to play Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, I have that on the Switch, and yeah, I just I love the pretty much the combat system and like the fusion system and all that stuff. I really enjoy that from the Persona and SMT games. So I definitely want to play SMT 5. At some point. Uh, maybe right after this, right after I finish Persona 5 Royal. Um, <laughs> less romance, guys. I, mean, they, I saw, I don't know if you played Persona 3 at all, but they are making a. I don't know if it's just. I don't think it's a remake, but it's definitely a remaster of Persona 3. That's coming out in February. And I saw that they're taking away the female protagonist option. Uh, like the final version of the original Persona 3. Uh, I guess it was Persona 3 Portable actually. They gave uh, us the chance to play as the female protagonist, which allowed us to, you know, romance the males. But I heard they're taking it out of the uh, reloaded edition they're coming. Uh, you reckon it's going to be DLC at some point? Probably. <laughs> Especially if he's getting a lot of backlash right now. It's probably already in the works. But they just probably want to pump out the original. Or not the original, but the basic version of it first. And yeah, like you said, it's going to have a DLC. Probably similar to uh, the portable version. Sonic 3 Portable. A lot more female um, main character. Like in general or like in uh, Persona 3. But yeah, it would be nice to play as a female. Let's have the other perspective. Perspective? Perspective? Um, in general, yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting that they didn't do it for this persona, but I guess it wouldn't really work. I guess it wouldn't really work because, again, the whole issue with the main character is that, you know, he was trying to stop a sexual assault moment. <laughs> and so I don't, I guess, culturally speaking, at least in the past ish, I don't know, maybe it's Japan's culture, um, a girl wouldn't really involved like that. At least not in Japan. Uh, in America, definitely, you know, stop that from happening if you see it. Um, you know, I'm not sure about how Japan would, you know, from a female's perspective, if they would intervene in that kind of a situation. So I guess I can understand if they didn't make a female protagonist in this game. But I don't know. And then think about four. I can see them doing a female protagonist before. I forgot the reason why the protagonist even came to uh, that area, which Inaba. But he was just there for a year for some reason, which I forgot. <laughs> but I need I need to play at some point. Uh, so to be fair, they should do both male and female story changes depending on which one you choose. I guess that's true too. Just have a different origin. Though, I guess they would have to, like... Hmm, that would be interesting, yeah. I don't know how they would mix that up. Because in the big bed... I don't know. I really don't know. You like those kind of games? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking then again with P3. Why you were there. <laughs> so why was the main character there? I don't know. It's kind of bad because I kind of just played 
Persona 3 like earlier, like at the beginning of this year. I already forgot. <laughs> like those little minute details. Like why was main character even there? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'll probably end up, you know, playing Persona 3 Reloaded so I can rejog my memory on that. But uh, I've only played a tiny bit of 3 port. Uh, the, um, the one they just ported. The portable version. Like on Steam and I'm assuming Switch. I'm not quite sure what platforms they released it to, but I think it's everywhere. Actually, now I think about it. Um, I think it's more of the visual novel version of it too. It's not like the 3D you run around and um, explore on your own. Yeah, the portable version, yeah. Uh, I was told it has a lot of bugs, but I guess that's kind of normal. And they just fix it over time, I suppose. But uh, I don't have it, I don't think. Check my humongous Steam library. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have it on my wish list, but I did not buy it myself. You bought all releases on both. PS5 and Switch, nice. Yeah, I do that with Final Fantasy games, actually. Like, I have... Let's see... 3 through... 15 on PC. Um, I do have a lot of them... Disc copies, or consoles, but... I re-bought all of them <laughs> from on Steam. Uh, both 3 and 4 runs great on Switch, but not 5 as much. I wonder if it's... Because I do see there's a lot more, like, animation involved in 5. You know, just Kasumi here. Where it's just... <laughs> just the motion of her finger. It's actually pretty... Pretty realistic, actually. I know in 4, it's not quite... Like, this level of graphics, so... I can kind of see why 5 won't really run as well. Um, do you want Final Fantasy on Switch 2? Which ones? <laughs> All of them? It's so many. Um, oh yeah, the remake part 2 is coming out next year. I think. Or maybe the end, end of this year. FF7 remake. Or is it Rebirth? I didn't really look at the release date, but that should be either this year or next year. Hmm. 5 is just the character is just a blurry. Uh, oh, any of them? You love them all? Nice. Yeah, which, which one's your favorite Final Fantasy? You can't wait for Rebirth? Yeah. Yeah, I want to replay. I've been playing through um, Crisis Core, the remake, or I guess remaster. I don't know if it's a remake. I haven't played, I didn't play the original Crisis Core, so I don't know. So hard, yeah. Um, for me, that's your tie. It's tied between 10 and 13. Now I'm talking about in terms of story. Game mechanics is kind of, you know, whatever. But story-wise, I like 10 and 13. Mm, I can't really tell which one is more. Maybe 10? I don't know. Uh, see, you only played a few. 1-7 remake and 16. Ah, gotcha. So either summer of 16, yes. And even, even then, you haven't played through all of 7. Since they're only releasing it in pieces. Um, yeah, 16 just so sad. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played it yet, but so sad. <laughs> oh, the ones you finish, anyways? <laughs> yeah, I finished 16 last month, and yeah, it's just so sad. <laughs> it's like, why? It actually has a similar. Well, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to say anything, actually. Yeah, let me just stop my sentence right there in case you want to play one of the other Final Fantasies. Mm, you finish that within a week. Nice. <laughs> you just grinded it out. To be fair, though, it is pretty riveting. Uh, if I didn't have, you know, normal job, and I actually play volleyball, indoor volleyball. Um, so sometimes my nights are taken. Uh, right now, I'm actually injured. I injured my ankle. And so I haven't been playing volleyball for about a week, or not a week, a month. <laughs> and so I've just been gaming. So, you know, I got through Final Fantasy. Slowly getting through this. Uh, Eventually, I probably will go back to playing volleyball because that's like my favorite thing to do. Um, and so, yeah, uh, the streams will probably slow down a bit, but maybe we'll see. I just pick and choose the days I want to play, and then the other days I'll be doing this. Um, one issue I had with the game was the side quest was boring. Yeah, a lot of it's just like basic fetch quests, basic just kill things. 
So yeah, I, I can see that. Um, no, like, cool little mini games, I guess? It's all just combat. Um, so yeah, I can see that. It's, it's pretty much just story building, like, fleshing out the scenarios and uh, characters, so, eh. They were all the same? Yeah. Yeah, it's just go here, go there, fight things. And, you know, beat this thing to get me this item to do something. Yeah, it wasn't too dynamic. But I haven't tried the hard mode yet. Um, I don't know what it's all about. Well, I guess not necessarily hard mode, right? It's just New Game Plus. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'll stream that or just play it off stream by myself. Um, there were a few good ones, but not many. I honestly don't remember most of the side quests, to be honest. Um, yeah. Not <laughs> all the bosses they were getting. Yeah, all the ma major icon fights, like, superb. Um, so I guess another question, which one was your favorite icon fight? I will say I was a little disappointed with Odin. Because yeah, he was supposed to be like the biggest bad guy or whatever. But it was you didn't fight him in icon form. <laughs> Which is probably why it's like the most lackluster. And again, hopefully no one gets spoiled, but... Um... Ugh, it's <laughs> so sad. Uh, as for favorites... It's tied between Titan and um, Bahamut. And your favorite was Bahamut. Yeah, that one's like epic. Especially because that's like your first time you... Uh... Had Josh in your party, Josh in your party, and then you actually fought alongside with him, um, in icon form, which was great. And then you fused, and <laughs> you're like, "What the hell's going on?" So yeah, uh, yeah, I can, I can see that being one of the best ones. Did you like the final boss? I'm trying to think, how did I feel about the final boss? It was definitely like a lot of like flashy craziness, but I think it was already sad because you know you lose two of the major characters in the story. Um, so I'm kind of like, no, so I was just sad about it, so I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> but at least in the previous fights, you know, you didn't lose those two characters. Um, but yeah, in terms of like, you know, graphics and effects of the final boss fight, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was great. And then, you know, you got to do the uh, super Ifrit form. About that form was called, but yeah, you fused together with Phoenix and fought the final boss. It's like he used the same powers. Oh yeah, when you fought your shadow cell, pretty much shadow Ifrit. That was good. Yeah, then that final final. Oh that yeah yeah yeah, that was a uh, shadow Ifrit too. As the final final. Oh, so that's actually kind of symbolic because you actually so again throughout the whole game, you fight against all the other. It, or, uh, icons or summons, but you never fought against yourself. <laughs> you never fought against Ifrit. So, actually, that's pretty. Now I think about it, wow. <laughs> I like totally went over my head how symbolic that is, but yeah. Are they gonna have a DLC? Yep, they better. <laughs> Such a good game. Um, so, I imagine what they're gonna add to it, because again, it's pretty much a free. Uh, no free but it's open world game more or less and again i haven't played the new game plus so i don't know what they're really going to do with all the crafting materials that you get um because yeah, throughout the game you just have those pick those free pickups of all these crafting materials but like i don't need any of this stuff <laughs> and then all the side quests you do give you better weapons and armor so it's like i really don't need all this crafting material so like why do i have it um so yeah, maybe new game plus utilizes those more or better or something i don't know we'll see but you love clive yeah he's a very good character um it wouldn't surprise me if they just well i guess you can't really do that yeah they can only do dlc so i was thinking like why don't they just make a sequel or something but well i don't know how that would work out um then again they did tease something right um at the end of the game where uh find out that Joshua wrote a book so Joshua did not die which I kind of had a feeling especially since you know Clive heals him up heals his body before you know doing the do doing the deed and uh, the crystal 
the rain of crystals or whatever. Um, yeah, it's definitely a cool game. A uh, cool storyline, very symbolic. Kind of sad too, because again, like the whole bears and slavery and all that jazz. You know, the setting of uh, 16, yeah, that's actually like the roots of Final Fantasy. Uh, back in the uh, the medieval times, because um, I'm trying to think, starting from six, Final Fantasy six, seven, eight, nine went back to kind of medieval times, and it was a hybrid because of the story. I think I'm trying not to spoil anything in case you want to play those. Uh, Eleven was MMO, like fourteen is. I'm pretty sure they're both also set in the fantasy. Uh, medieval times. 13 is futuristic. 15 is futuristic. So yeah. But yeah, most of the Final Fantasy games are set in medieval times. So I guess like half now. I think it is half and half. With 16 being the newest one. Honestly, I'll most likely forget my memory is like a fish enough. <laughs> Honestly though, I think with um, so many games I've been playing, like a lot of storylines do kind of fade into each other. Um, so I think because I played uh, the Final Fantasy in my more youth state <laughs> uh, years ago when I was in college and stuff, um, they kind of stick with me more. But I know with Personas, they're not as clear-cut. It's more recent that I played the Personas. I think I played Persona 5 for the first time in like... I want to say 2016 or 17? So I forget if I played it before Final Fantasy XV came out or after Final Fantasy XV came out. Yeah, one of my friends, which is also a viewer here in, uh, on Twitch, uh, she is the first one that introduced me to Persona. And she only talked about it, like I didn't know anything about it. She would talk about it and I didn't know what she was talking about because <laughs> we didn't. It was interesting because we were actually, I went to grad school for uh, mental health counseling. And I didn't finish it though because I didn't feel like it was a fit for me. But I did meet uh, one of my viewers there. Uh, she was a grad assistant at the time. And yeah, I was in one of the classes. She was a TA or a helper. And uh, we paired up for one of the group, uh, or I guess pair activities. And yeah, we talked about animated games, <laughs> all the stuff. So very fun. You know, fun experience to uh, kind of just meet someone random and then find out that they are into the same things you're into, right? <laughs> especially because, you know, in academia, a lot of times, especially, I would say in the grad program, a lot of people are older. Like, when I was in the grad program, there was probably... Well, there was already only like nine of us in that particular class, I think. And I think most of them were older than me. And definitely normies <laughs> so they're probably not into like anime and stuff and so yeah it was pretty cool to meet somebody and actually was into the same stuff so that was fun and then yeah um i left that program that was back in like 2016 15 and yeah i hadn't seen her until the covid years hit and then we all went to social media <laughs> because we didn't go anywhere because of covid and then yeah it's kind of how we like Relinked up because Twitch and all that goodness, so cool stuff. Um, let's see, I did the same to your boyfriend, I made him play it. Nice, you introduced him to Persona. So it's definitely a great game, I enjoy it a lot. Um, I love the fusion system, I love the whole everything, and yeah, I, I think I also like the aesthetic and like. It's like anime, so even, you know, these character models, or I guess the art, um, I just like anime. <laughs> Love anime. Uh, well, let's see here. Oh, we should probably continue. I've been yapping away. <laughs> it's, it's rank up the social link. Uh, you're like a star right out of Hollywood, but if my dad wore them, he might look a little shady. <laughs> Is that a pun? Because it's like shades. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are those even here? I kind of want a pair. <laughs> Oh gosh. Kasumi. Sorry, I can't decide. I'm really bad at deciding too, but... A lot of them are good, but none of them have really clinched, or, yeah, clinched it for me yet. Uh, check my cheat sheet. 
trust your instincts. You know, you're right. We're the one who has to make this call. I'm just gonna... I'm just going off of gut feeling, but I'll pick this pair. Wait, we didn't even try this one on. I love how she picks the red one because her hair is red. Such a cheater, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to have to replay this. Um, not like I don't want to replay it, but I just... I want to move on to other games. Because <laughs> yeah, I still have to... Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, maybe play hard mode in... Or New Game Plus on Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> uh, totally didn't read up on how to get the third semester. Oh yeah, um... I forget, did you play Persona 4? Golden? Because <laughs> they pretty much did the same thing. I'm assuming here that they did in Persona 4 Golden where... There is, like you said, another semester, and you need to, I'm assuming, uh, max out a certain social link, or two maybe, to yeah, open up the next, like, part of the game. No, only a tiny bit. Yeah, so, you have to play it, if you have it. Because it's, you know, all the Persona goodness. <laughs> It's interesting because I kind of wish that Mandeth was still here, but she went to bed. Um, so I was talking about like the different overarching themes of each persona, at least three through five. I have not played one and two, but um, yeah, three through five, they have like overarching, you know, psychological concepts that they're, you know, dealing with. And then, I don't know what you want to call it, but. Um, so in Persona 3, I'm going to try not to spoil too much, but I feel like, well, at least Mandeth also told me that her thought was pretty much trying to face the idea of death, stuff like that. I won't say anything else more than that, but that seems to be like the or overarching theme. Uh, 4 has more to do with personal discovery, which, you know, it is part of, I guess, all of the Personas, but... I think it's more so in that one than the other ones. Um, so yeah, personal discovery and maybe some other stuff too, but mainly personal discovery. And then here in Persona 5, it has to do with more, I guess, the metaverse, where it's social psychology. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, I think last time I played, only did the first dungeon. I will say, I feel like or Golden does kind of drag on a little bit in the beginning. Um, so at least in Persona 5, it kind of happens really rapidly, right? Like, your first day of school, you already go... <laughs> but not even your first day of school, you already go to the Metaverse slash Kamashita's Palace. So, yeah, it starts a lot faster um, than Persona 4. I feel like Persona 4 took a while to get going. Um, yeah, trying to get a... Was his name Yusuke in that one? I forget. Yeah, that was the first uh, Metaverse experience you get. Um, I think Persona 3... I want to say that's almost as long as Persona 4 in terms of like how long it took to actually get to business. Um, yeah, probably does want to replay f uh, 4 Golden because I actually did not get the final final ending. I did unlock the third semester, but I did not, again, get the final, final true ending <laughs> or whatever. Which I'm kind of sad, but, you know, eventually I'll go back and play it. It's probably like, like, like two years <laughs> or something after all these games I play. Um, no, he's consuming me. Doesn't know how to describe it. It just seems perfect for my dad somehow. Uh, good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Yes, I think I can be confident in this one. In fact, I know he'll like it. Because <laughs> it's red like my hair. Yeah, Kasumi's so great. Thank you for so much for coming here with me today. Ended up with a great present. All thanks to you, Dream Senpai. Um, it's probably not a problem at all. Well, I've still got to make it up to you. Let's go practice at the park after this. 
Oh, why are you so sad? If I'm being honest, uh, trying to pick out glasses was really setting off my anxiety. What? All I could think of, of was uh, what would happen if I couldn't choose or if I chose wrong. I mean, I already failed in gymnastics and my cooking turned out bad too. After cracking under pressure so many times, I kind of figured I'd just ruin everything again. Uh, the more I thought about it, the more empty I felt. Like I wasn't even me anymore. Everyone deals with that. So even you know how that feels, Dream Senpai? It's not just me. Senpai. I, s I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me. It's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off. But maybe finding out who I really am is about or is also about finding new depths to myself. It does make me feel a little down though, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. And having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. Uh, we'll work at it together. Because I'm gonna try to romance you. <laughs> this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance, but it's like I'd be doing it for you as much as for myself, or something like that. Oh, this is why she's great. She's so cute. I'm still working on myself, but I hope we can help each other too. Nice. And yeah, this new uh, thing is pretty cool. Chains. <laughs> Chain. Chains hook. Allows you to ambush from a distance by attacking with the grappling hook. Yes. Uh, after the lessons with Kasumi, James can now use a chain's hook. Using your grappling hook uh, will enable you to attack a shadow that is slightly further away than your usual and start uh, and start a preemptive strike or a battle. When you start a battle with your chain's hook, the enemies will begin the fight inflicted with dizzy, confused, or fear. Oh wow, that's really good. Now we should get to training. Maybe we can try some intermediate level exercises today. After stretching, I trained with Kasumi. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I think my stamina increased. Heck yeah. Kind of glad they added that because, you know, one of the other things you could do is work out in your room. But I feel like that's a total waste. It's 5 HP. Especially on this difficulty, is not much at all. Of course, it, you know, uh, stacks over time, but I really don't think I need HP boost like that. Hello, Dream Senpai. Are you able to talk right now? So I already gave my dad the glasses we picked out today. And it suits him even better than I imagined. He was so happy with them. I'm glad to hear that. You should be more confident. I know, you're right. But I do feel more confident in myself, thanks to you. I even feel like my gymnastics are going to get better now, after talking to you. I'm sick of wasting my time worrying. Whatever I'm up against, I'm just going to give it my best shot. But actions always speak louder than words, right? I'll prove I'm not all talk. Okay, I'd better go. I hope we can talk again later. Nice. Let's, uh, that guy, let's see. Not much longer. There's a movie that won't be in theaters for much longer. I know we haven't finished dealing with Futaba yet, but I'm curious about it. It's called Like a Dragon. You know, the one by that famous director. Want to go see it now? Mm, let's see, what kind of movie is it? Okay, there's no point in hanging out with Sojiro. No, I'm getting tired. Um... I can't hang out with EY because my guts is not high enough. Kachi's not there, so it looks like we're just gonna hang out with Makoto. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. So I could hang out with the reporter lady, but. <laughs> Let's meet in front of the movie theater in Shinjuku. Shinjuku? Shinjuku. Maybe I should start the palace. Let's do a little bit of it. 
Oh yeah, forget that. Uh, Makoto's into martial arts. She knows Aikido. So she's into action. Makoto's fists have been clenched this entire time. Whatever she said before about the director was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. <laughs> I feel like I learned more about the determination that the Yakuza have. With Makoto next to me, the movie was almost as fresh as the first time I saw it. Thanks to the craft of uh, cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. We get more guts. More guts? Yes, I need to level up my guts. So I can hang out, hang out with EY. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Um, do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? Uh, not at all. It's so you. So you. Really? Um, I'll take that as a compliment, I suppose. It takes a surprising amount of courage to admit that you enjoy something. Sorry that I called you over so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by myself. I had fun, though. Uh, thanks to you. See, I wouldn't mind romancing her either, so it's like... <laughs> all the characters have good, like, quality points. Or whatever. Okay, let's start heading home. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Right, who wants to hang out today? And wants to hang out today. Uh, we're meeting up today. I'm at the underground mall in Shibuya right now. It's super packed since it's summer vacation. I'll still be in Shibuya for a little while, so let me know if anything comes up. I'll probably hang out with her. Yeah, I'll probably just keep hanging out with people until I run out of people or like time to hang out with people. <laughs> Even then, everyone else is not here today except for Anne. I don't even know if I'll get to the palace today. Might just save that for next time. What we're gonna do today, let's hang out. Plenty of time. I'm probably gonna one cycle or one day the palace, so. Uh, I'm okay with uh, wasting time. Let's go get crepes with tons of extra toppings. Uh, just, uh, get hungry. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm just starving. Uh, looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. I have the worst luck. Oh, an email. Uh, looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they would want. Uh, Omega? At Skytree? Where's that? They want me to head over for a shoot now. Uh, feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently she asked me for, or asked for me specifically to start alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. Uh, it's a trap. It's simply a trap. Uh, but she admires you. Uh -huh. So you think what she said earlier was the truth? Hold on though, uh, why would you trick someone you admire? Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. Have you been to Skytree before? How do you get there? Uh, use Google. Google Maps. Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you. You're going. Come on. <laughs> oh, what? That's funny. Um, popular old town area known for the Sensoji Temple in Tokyo Skytree. Nakamise Dori is a hit with tourists. Colorful shops of all kinds line the streets. Yes. What if we just go there? I'm pretty sure they don't have shops there, huh? Oops. Alright, we made it. Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Oh, wow, I barely recognize you. Yeah, she looks super pale, like almost ghostly. What the heck? 
did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of women. Uh, so I condition my body to be more elegant. Huh? What do you mean? Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat. Make sure you check the nutritional and caloric content. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Huh? Whoa, that's amazing. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? She's like, I really want one. Of course I don't. I get fat <laughs> with just one bite of that stuff. Oh, Jesus. Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. Day after day. How many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh, a natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling. You know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. Who are you calling an airhead? <laughs> ah, Tenpai, stop it. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'm just girl. That's a fake. Uh, Mika-chan, are you okay? Man, cat fights <laughs> are scary. Yeah. <laughs> I would be fed up with her. This way, Mika-chan. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm looking for. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I see now. This is a test. Yes. Well, I'm not gonna lose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Anchan, could you try being a little sexier? You mean like this? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Mika, what are you? Why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that that was a lie, but I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Oh, jeez. Oh, you're amazing, Mikacha. Nah. Oh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. Oh, gosh. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy. <laughs> I could. It's like, uh, so cringy. Green City? Um, I'm heading home. Yeah, I'll be like, uh. Eh. Now we're right back in Shibuya. Uh, what did I Mika ask for me? So she could show you up. I see, uh, that she was just trying to be mean, yep. Knew it from the start. If that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. Oh, uh, cheer up. I'm... I'm so pissed off! <laughs> Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level than me. Uh, Mika is amazing. Mika is... Mika is strong. But me? I'm nothing. Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. This whole time I've just been pretending to model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear, casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, uh, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. Uh, go get him, Tiger. Right, I'll give it my all. Yes. I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch, James. Heck yeah. Alright, I think we're level 7 now? Hell yeah. Yoshi. Okay. Uh, I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets. But no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will. But not today. You eat some for me, James. <laughs> How it works. Later.
James, it's me. I've been pissed since I left. I can't help it. Well, I'll say it again. I'm taking the modern world by storm. I don't care what I have to do to get there. Obviously, that means dieting, uh, cutting back on food, and no matter how tough it is, I'll do any workouts. You got this. Yep, I'm so sick of feeling how I did today. This is a first for me, actually. Feeling this pissed off, I mean. Uh, usually, even if I have a crappy day, I just get over it by having snacks, watching TV, and sleeping it off. But this time, it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. Okay, gotta start my stretching session. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're definitely taking our sweet time. Oh, catchy. I hate this guy. <laughs> I guess I'll do one more day worth of hanging out with people. Maybe just this last hangout. Oh, Becky. Working today. Yeah, I see why. It's her. Alright, uh, I guess we're hanging out with Becky today. I think it was raining. How are you? It's Becky sending you her positive energy, Master. My grammar is perfect, but my health is not. That is my situation. Would you like to support Becky by paying <laughs> What is this pitch? Alright, let's do it. Alright, this is probably the last thing I do tonight, actually. Uh, please come right away. I waited a while after responding, but she hasn't replied. I wonder why she was the one who invited wonder why she was the one who invited me. She might be working as a maid. Uh, let's call her from the block later. You mean like right now? Mm. Oh, come on, you reply. Try calling her directly. Oh. This is the head nurse at Aoyama Hospital speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Kawakami-san actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Oh, no. Do you know our hospital address? Her room number is... This isn't good. Let's head over there right away. Not the teacher. Oh, I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal of it. <laughs> no, but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Ugh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? Oh. Uh, what's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. Huh? Takase said, You contacted the school. Well, you weren't answering your phone. When I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. A pleasant woman. No, no, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so you need to transfer the money. Oh, jeez. This sounds terrible. I I'm sorry. Uh, these are Takase Kun's guardians. Uh, the ones I mentioned the other day. Uh, they took care of him. Who's this? Uh, he's one of my students. He came to visit me. Mess around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? And after all you did to him. I I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Uh, where are we? Uh, don't pay them. It's drinking. Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son Daiki died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. <laughs> That's not. And yet, she still doesn't know how her, her doesn't know her place, and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. <laughs> that just sounds like a, a con right there. Scam. I understand. I will pay you. So, uh, it's not like we're trying to extort you. 
<laughs> they just out of themselves. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him uh, to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. Oh, what? <laughs> so you no longer feel regret. In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. Oh, Jesus. Huh. I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only uh, way. Um... I uh, think this there's some more. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my students. <laughs> Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? Not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Jeez, <laughs> just waiting to this. Meow. <laughs> uh. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. And that's the wrong choice. Say some other way. That's the wrong choice, period. Those parents are, or foster parents are scum. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, uh, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. No, Sad. I think this is another reason why <laughs> I just went ahead and romanced her the first time around. Even though, again, it's a taboo relationship. She's probably like, what? Mid to late 20s? And we're sitting here in high school. <laughs> so it's kind of like that gray line. Uh, I'll be released the first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Busy hours are over. Get home safe, okay? It's thunderstorm. Alright. Somebody else wanna hang? Oh, the dudes wanna hang. Uh, we're heading to the palace. What well, if everybody wants to hang out? Or go to the palace, I mean. Everyone wants to go to the palace. I wonder if it gets to a point where, like, they don't let you hang out with anybody else. Because <laughs> they're like, you should probably go to the palace. Oh, I can hang out with Ryuji and level up, actually. I'll probably do that. I also noticed that Anne is not ready to level up. I need to get a chariot. Uh, bubble room. Alright, I said I was gonna be done, but let me hang out Ryuji, level up, and then we could hang out, or end for the night. I'm pretty sure I don't have a chariot. I do have to get rid of somebody. I uh, can't hang out to Kemi until I get. Actually, what is the requirement? I think it's charm. Or is it kindness? I'm pretty sure it's charm. Yeah. I need level 4 charm, which is coming, but again, I'm not going to get it for a while, probably, so... I guess I can toss you away. Ah, I'm going to fuse. I feel like it's a waste to just throw away Persona, not just use them. Okay. Who do I not need? Uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, too much, too much. Right, so, get rid of... Uh, still do Hermit. Oh, wait. Fortunately, I can't toss away Hermit. I toss away the strength, dude. Yes, do that. I gotta pay out the ass for Daisoji, though. That's okay. Yeah, I'll do 
That's fine. Hey, Spirit Drain is a very good move, I believe. Yeah, Drain SP. I think eventually... Ooh. We eventually learn uh, Life Drain, which I believe heals both SP and MP, or HP and SP. Or at least that was what it was in uh, Shin Megami Tensei. I'm not sure about this game. So it's too powerful, so you gotta pay out the ass. Which we do have the money to pay out the ass. Uh, this one? Those effect of drain types. Or maybe I want this. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. Draining mouth. I don't know what that mouth do. Uh, Alright, what are we bringing? Bring that good stuff. Definitely that. So many good moves. Honestly, it's just these four will be good. But I also want this growth to... You know... I wonder if I could... Decrease... Uh, accuracy? And then it will kind of pair with Samsara, which... Does a... Uh, light insta kills so they're most like less likely to dodge insta kill that might be good um there's a sphere let's do dekunda i don't i don't usually go for dekunda so let's get it then let's get this growth all right please don't fail stop wrap to save <laughs> gotta save before committing to this Alright, we're good. Okay. I am Daisoju. You with the body immune to rot. Let us welcome the pending day of salvation together. That's yeah, yeah, here he goes. A really good persona in, uh, or demon in, uh, Shimigami Tensei 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's very good, dear Han. Oof, 35 magic. So high. So high. Oh, do I have enough to pull out a chariot? I think I have enough I pull out a weak one. So I might have to pull out a weak chariot, which is fine. Could pull out this one. I might as well pull out a weak one, to be honest. Yeah, I'll just pull out a weak one. <laughs> That's like no moves. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get back. Let us hang out with Ryuji. The huge monster. Actually, where is Ryuji? Somewhere. Maybe he's just. Oh, yeah, he's. Mm, actually. He's yeah, mm. in the arcade. Oh, he is in the arcade. Nice. No. What are we doing today? Let's hang out, buddy. Oh, uh, you sure gonna have a blah blah blah? We have plenty of time. I guess it ain't gonna hurt getting a change of pace. So, uh, I've been thinking about what to do with the track team, but I realize I'm not the kind of guy to come up with epic plans that can save the day. So, I think I'm gonna do this one, or this the one way I know how you can come with. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely next time we will go into Utawa's Palace. I've got to tell Nakaoka and the Kaikishi what's going on with that asshole of a teacher. I mean, there's no way the track team's going to make a comeback without them. I know it's a day off and all, but uh, we're heading over to school. And <laughs> they've got to be there. For some reason. <laughs> For no reason. 
All right, so I uh, called Nakaoka and Takeshi over here. I'm gonna tell them what that bastard Yamochi is up to. What if they start fighting? <laughs> you probably didn't realize, but I recorded Yamochi's whole combo back at the Monja shop. I'm a genius, I know. Anyways, uh, I might need some backup here. Can you stick around? Uh, what do you want, Sakamoto? Takeishi? Nakaoka? What the hell? Are you... Uh, are you guys gonna gang up on me? Dude, chill. I just wanna talk. Listen. This here is what's really going on with the track team. Uh, it'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother is the president of the PTA. Uh, but until then, uh, you can show the others the value of obedience. Uh, this has to be a joke. The emoji said uh, he'd make me the captain. Is this for real? It's uh, Yamochi's voice, ain't it? Uh, and on top of that, it's just gone down just like he said. Yamochi's right. I don't have talent. I'm not like you guys. I ran so damn hard, but you two were always so far ahead. How's a guy like me supposed to succeed? How am I supposed to be proud of myself? Proud? My dad always talks about how proud uh, he is of his son. He told everyone I'd get a track uh, scholarship like he did. That I'd follow in his footsteps as a second generation... Taisei grad. That's why I listened to Yamauchi. He said if I was the captain, uh, he'd write me a great letter of record. So, you trusted what he was saying about Nakaoka because of stupid crap like that? Shut, shut up. What does a thug like you know? You don't know how I feel. Or you couldn't know how I feel. Nobody does. Like hell I don't know. How long were we running together, huh? I went through all sorts of shit with you. Sakamoto. Who are you living your life for? Your parents? Teachers? Society? Maybe you should stop trying to live for them and just try living for yourself. You think you gotta betray people? Uh, you gotta betray people to, to be proud? Uh, well, well, I... If that's seriously what you think, uh, you're wrong. No. Like, how uh, you knew something was up with Yamauchi too, didn't you? I mean, the bastard's never been inter interested in track before. But you kept quiet. You knew he was walking all over you, and you just let him do it. Yeah, I was afraid. Uh, without Yamauchi, uh, we still wouldn't have a team or a place to belong. So you miss running around that bad. You know, it's us. It ain't so scary not having a place you belong. You can kind of be free that way. If anything, I'm more scared of being a crappy person. I mean, I used to be like you guys, afraid, lying to myself. That is, before I met this dude. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's like, don't bring me into this. I don't want to insult you guys or nothing, but I know you're probably real pissed about all this. So if you want to hit me or something, go ahead. I'm ready. In that case, you insist. <laughs> Goddamn. No hesitation. Huh? You're really doing it. You said it's okay, right? Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> you're just like, oh, wait. Ow. Did you really have to keep swinging so hard? <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel a little better already. Me too. I think I can fully put all this behind. <laughs> Nakaoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You want to bring back the track team? Oh, so you want to bring back the track team? Hell yeah. A what? <sighs> you saw that, right? That was some serious violence. Uh, Things turned out for the best. Nah, man. I've been taking good care of this face, and look what ended up happening to it. Either way, they're probably feeling way better now. I think they're gonna be just fine together. Thanks. All I'll do is watch. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> you just sat around while I got my ass beat. <laughs> For real, though, you were a big help. You were pushing me to be cool that whole time. It's kind of like I was doing a sprint. And you were running next to me. Uh, you weren't cool though. <laughs> Brutal. Just forgot about the beating I took, okay? Or just forget about the beating I took, okay? <laughs> mm. 
Hmm, chance to withstand that, otherwise, fatal attack. Nice. Got endure. I think everyone gets endure. Anyways, let's go home. I think my mouth bleeding, so we'll have to eat some other time. Oof. Yeah. Definitely uh, seems very painful. Yo, James, it's me. Thanks for the help today. Yeah, man, my jaw is still kind of messed up. But it's a good kind of pain, you know? Like, just after workout. And uh, they're gonna have a. I have to handle the rest, but I think they'll make the right call. Seeing them having a real heart to heart talk, they got a good team. So, case closed? I hope so. So long away from how things used to be, but I did all I could. Man, those guys are really gonna go uh, for this. I gotta step up my own game. I'm gonna uh, up my pace, so you better be ready for it. Okay, later. All right. More Becky? Hot night. Another Scorcher, can't catch a break. I'm actually really curious. Oh, Becky wants to hang out. All right, all right. Stop for today. Uh, not sure if I'll hang out with Mishima or Kawakami. They can both level up. Um, it's like they're running a lot of money, but let's see. We're both at six. Oh, Kawakami's at seven. Mishima's at six. I think, well, Mishima doesn't meet every day either. I don't know. I guess I'll decide next time we come back. Is there a crossword action? No crossword. Oops. Alright. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Hope everyone has a good night, and I'll catch you all next time.